many people ask me, you know, uh, especially after seeing the first one, I'm not going to post another video, but this is basically the second video. I really don't post videos like that, but here's a little upgrades that I have done to the bike. With the two brothers, black, it's all on it. But the funny thing about this is all is that, uh, I got it from my mechanic right up the street, uh, Mike, that owns a uh, uh, motorcycle riders company in Odinson. So if you're ever in the area, check him out. He does real good work, quality, takes care of your bike like it's his own. Anyway, like I said, he had this slip-on laying around. And uh, he said, hey, you can make it fit, put it on your bike. So what I had to do, I had to actually cut this flange and rotate it 90 to make it fit you know so it looks stock but actually like I said I had to cut it rotate it 90 to make it work because the slip on actually goes to a 05 jigs uh 05 high boost all right so other than that like I said I got that I still had to do a little bit of work to it as you can see you gotta get the right size bolts for it and all that here is what most people want to see underneath I have two switches one for my headlights here and one for my new creation underglow so, so now as you see Get the HID kit on it. All right. Got the purple glow right now. Let's switch it up. Get the key fob. Change the color on it. So my baby's coming along, you know, little ins and eyes here. Uh, next thing, I, really I gotta do maintenance on it. I gotta put the, uh, change the oil, gotta redo the clutch on it. Uh, front and rear brakes, gotta get a new tire for this season. Uh, by the way, these are excellent tires. These are the Pirelli. So y'all can hear me these are the pirelli uh angel D gt2s you know i put personally i put over i want to say seventy-five thousand miles on these tires in one one season and you can still see it's just just starting to show a little bit you know can't really rotate the tire because i got it locked but kind of see right there Look at them chicken strips getting close. This is really my good side. Get real close on on the turns. Almost there. Like I said, uh, Pirelli Andrew GT2s. Um, good deal. Actually, I got them off of uh, the internet. Got them from uh, JakeWilson.com. Uh, it's like a third party. But uh, yeah, I think I got both of them for maybe, it was under three that I got both of them. You know, here's a better close up of what the grooves look like and the tread looks like when it's brand new. Like I said, this is actually 75,000, I'm sorry, 7,500 miles on, on these, this front tire right here, you know, and I'm not an average rider, you know, I ride my bike. I ride it to work. 
you know, matter of fact, I wrote it today. It was uh, 50 degrees here in Maryland. I wrote it in today. You know. So like I said, uh, little ins and outs, trying to, you know, pip and ride, basically, you know. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not your average blog or nothing like that, but everybody been asking me, especially the people that I ride with, they asked me when I was going to post another video, start posting videos. Uh, my wife actually bought me a camera for, uh, for Christmas, so this summer I'm going to definitely get some riding footage in, you know. But like I said, that's it. Oh, one more thing. Uh, I forgot my man's name, but he hit me on on the lab on my first video of the bike. And he asked me how I wired my HIDs. Well, basically what happened is, it's by default. Had a short in the wiring hardens. And what I did, when I got an HID kit, um, took out the old bugs, put the HIDs in there. And what I did, I bypassed the harness. So it's actually wired. I don't know if you can see here. Turn the wheel a little bit. But here's went on right here but it's actually hard is hard wired into the bub itself comes down and if I could pull this back a little bit it's kind of hard to make out with everything buttoned up but here's the actual wire see that white wire right there that's the actual wire for my headlights runs to the battery but it's also on this kill switch that's that first switch right here. This switch right here operates my headlights. So right now the headlights are on, as you can see. Lights not even on, the key's not even on, but my headlight is on. Okay, as you see, dash is off. All right, turn the key, dash is on, all right. Yet again, headlights are off. I mean, I'm sorry, tail lights are off. So, but that's how it's done. And like I said, it's all about this kill switch <coughs> or toggle switch, you know. So all it is, like I said, running from the headlight to the switch to the battery. So when I want them off, just turn them off. This little here is for my LEDs, see how they turn off? That's the kill switch for that. So you don't run down your battery, you know? Matter of fact, I did that one time. I thought I had hit it on the key fob to turn them off, and I didn't, and the lights were on and it killed my battery. So usually, just to force it happen now, what I do is, when I park the bike or whatever like that, I make sure I hit that kill switch on everything so it don't run my battery down. You know, but like I said, that's about it. Oh, other people been asking me about the color. The color is a candy brandy wine. It looks kind of plum or purple at night, but it's actually like the official color is uh, candy brandy wine from House of Colors. Uh, think of it as a red skin burgundy. You know, that's the only way I could describe it. You know, that's what it looks like. You know, so like I said, the next upgrades I'm gonna get are probably. Uh, I might change out my levers. I might change the mirror. Definitely going to change the windscreen. Probably get a mirror tinted windscreen. I kind of like the the color and chrome of silver to get a little. See, I put these spikes on here, so a little chrome silver, and this color really, really pops. You know, I'm gonna keep the frame the same. I I like the machine look. I like the polished aluminum. So. That's about it. So, like I said, stay tuned for more upgrades. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to try to start getting into this video thing. Um, and just subscribe, like, you know, all your support, any tips, everything is welcome. Hates, comments, whatever. You know, so, like I said, just hit me up. You know the channel. You know the spot. I'll be here. Like I say, anything that's helpful, 
and negativity is is welcome you know i take criticism well you know just because you don't like it don't mean nobody else like it i like it so that's all that matter all right so stay up just be south